hello guys and welcome back to my channel so um today i'm going to review the not your murders curl talk um i'm not sure if they've got any other i guess styling products to the line but i got the gel sculpting gel here that is frizz control um anti-frizz flexible for flake free firm hold and then I have the Curl Defining Cream. So my plan is to use these together. Um, they don't necessarily say to do so. It doesn't say to combine them. Um, I will do a little test to see if these products are going to flake or, you know, get little, little white crumbles. I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna do that like right now, actually. Let's see, just a small bit. Let's see. And so let's just see here. Um, so, so far, nothing. Yeah, that looks like a pretty smooth consistency. And it smells really good too. Yeah, so I guess I'll just, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with the defining cream first and then top it off with the gel. I'm just gonna, going in with the defining cream and I'm just gonna use, I guess, however much I think I need for this section. And it goes on really, really nice. My hair feels really, really good. This would definitely not be something I would do like a one product wash and go with. That's just a, that's just a no. But it does feel really, really good going on. And I could say, yeah, it definitely does define my curls. But it definitely would, it, it would not stay defined. Such is the type for hair life. Okay, so the gel feels really, really good too. And everything is clumping nicely. Okay, so just go in and just start shingling. I always hate how you think you've got a little section of hair, but then when you start to shingle, you realize that you're pulling like the widest area possible from your scalp. Oh, 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 oh. Um, but with how this is feeling right now, I think I'm gonna need some more gel. It's starting to feel really, really good. Like I have a really, really good feeling about this gel and about this wash and go, cause so far my hair looks so defined and I don't know if that has to do with the gel or with the curl defining cream or with just the fact that I, you know, just had a fresh trim. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh, oh look at them, the balance. Okay. I don't wanna make the shingles too big because then I'm gonna end up playing with them later and you know, yeah, I'm gonna end up playing with them later and making them smaller so it's best to keep them at a civilized size that's such a weird word for that word. okay yeah and that is the first section and yeah i think this is looking really really good i like it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh do the rest of this um off camera or in fast mode whichever one i decide so um Look forward to that. Okay, I'll be right back.
I am back and um, yeah, this is about 95% dry. This is a great wash and go. Now, one thing I am noticing is that obviously in my problem area, <laughs> which is right here and like right there, the curls don't necessarily, they're not as defined, but they never are. Um, I'm waiting for that Miracle product that does it, which I will say um, Miracle product that probably does it is probably the Cantu Curling Custard, but that flakes and this does not. Um, so yeah, I think my favorite product just from just using this, this and I don't know where the curling cream went. I think I moved it over there. I don't know. But the curling cream was probably the biggest shock that was actually good. Like. I feel like that curling cream alone, I didn't even need the gel. Like, that is just amazing. The curling cream is so good. And for me to feel like I can maybe get away without using gel with a cream that, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure if Not Your Mother's Curl Talk is geared towards, you know, type 4 natural hair. Um, but yeah not sure if it's geared towards type 4 natural hair you know as long as i don't obviously in my problem area <laughs> right here which i'm not even like low-key like side note i really don't know if this part of my hair is it's just heat damage or just dry i'm not sure what it is i'm not i don't really i don't spend too much time thinking about it but Obviously, when I'm when a wash goes dry, it always looks like that. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm like I'm thinking of coiling in the wrong direction. But no, nope, this it just does it does what it wants, and I let it do what it, what it wants. <laughs> it's healthy, I guess. Whatever. Um, but yeah, um, curling cream definitely a winner in my book. Um, now the price for the curling cream and for the gel as well, they are both roughly seven or eight ninety nine each. So these were, I'd say they were mid-range, you know, still affordable um, depending on how much you really want to spend. For $8, you can get Eco Styler and, you know, a really cheap, you know, leave-in for probably less than $5, you know, let's just be real here. So if you're really on a budget, um, I would only recommend the curling cream because it's just so great. Like, it really is thick. It it defines your hair and it has this really like gives your curls this really like i wouldn't say it's a hard feeling but it makes you just the feeling that you get when you're um applying the cream to your hair it really does make you feel safe like it doesn't make you feel like you're gonna you know pull it through and then the curls are just gonna kind of frizz out you feel like you know you're gonna brush it through and you know it's going to remain defined so that I definitely, you know, five out of five, all the ratings across the board, five gold stars, like beautiful, perfect product. Um, no complaints about it. Now, this gel, I can't really, not to say I don't know what it did for, for my hair. I do think that the gel is what gives it, you know, that, um, that, you know, that extra layer of hold, which I can definitely see it here in the front and in the back obviously um only my only complaint is that this gel i don't know if i use too much or it just does not go a long way because i literally have like this like this much gel left like obviously it was like probably filled up i have like this much left like the gel i can't say if it's it's good. It's good. I think it. I think it's gonna do its job. Its primary thing is frizz control. I think it controls frizz just fine. Um, I just don't think that um, it's. I don't think that it's strong enough for type four hair on its own. I feel like if I were to use this without the curling cream, I would not have gotten these results. Um, yeah. But you know, it's only a three out of five, which. To be honest, every time it says like three, you know, like, oh, it's got like, um, one, whole one, two, three, four, five, and it's like, well, where is, where is five? Can I, can I buy five? Where do you buy five? Um, my, my, my curl language is five. Where can, you know, my, 
where where can I find it you know but whatever okay so that's it for today's video um I really did like these products you know 